there's nothing in this world that will affect your body more quickly or more naturally than running. To build endurance, it takes two things, precise workouts and the commitment to doing the work. Most people make the mistake of doing old school static stretching before a run. The safest and most effective way to warm up is with dynamic movements, essentially moving stretches. This will significantly reduce the risk of injury and prepare your muscles for maximal power. After doing a lot of research, I found that there's no real reason to ever sprint over a 5% incline. For larger inclines, you need to use more moderate speeds to maintain the benefits of incline work without increasing the risk of injury. Speed work is part of the endurance building running cycle. You can't build endurance with distance running alone, you'll wear out. Sprinting causes you to fatigue faster. And if you pair speed with challenging recovery periods like a plyometric movement such as jump squats, you can build endurance without the distance. To hit your max speed, you have to engage your core to stabilize your body. So abdominal work is crucial. The plank works the deep underlying muscles of the core. And a nice flat stomach is the cherry on top. Side plank dips, although they're more advanced, are extremely effective in tightening the oblique muscles. Running does lead to tightness in the body. Foam rolling after a workout is the best way to release leftover energy and tension in the muscles, ligaments, and tendons. This will speed recovery and better prepare you for your next session. Running really is the foundation to everything we do in fitness. There's nothing more natural, nothing more basic, nothing more effective. Nothing will ever replace the importance of running. That's why I love it.